So it's a documentary of the artist at work. A candid view of the daily struggle that I face. Sounds great. How about the cast and crew walking slowly into the picture? Perhaps I can't do Hollywood for this kind of documentary. Yeah, well, as an auteur, I like to add my personal touch to my work. One day I'm going to go to LA and make it big in the movie industry. Julian, dude, this is literally the perfect show. Have you even read this script? I'm We're... sorry. Maybe I wouldn't be so confused if you'd stop reading my lines. Reading your lines? You, you think, think I'm jealous? Oh, I think you might. What's all this? <gasps> you, with the pineapple shirt? You can't have this here. You're blocking the exit. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry, but Julian said... This isn't Julian's stage. This is my stage. Me and Joe have been setting this up for hours. Right, you can't even bring a matchbox on here without getting my permission, all right? Those are the rules. In my position as author and director and producer of this play and documentary, I say that we need this exact camera angle in order to get the perfect shot. And I say you can't have that there. You're blocking the exit. But you're lucky I'm in a good humour today. I'll let you move it there and go on. Joe, would you please tell the stage manager that I've decided to change my camera angle? Uh, director said you've changed it. Thanks, camera. Joe. I heard it. Yeah. Joe, move that file over somewhere else. Are you going to read your lines properly this time? This is a pivotal moment in the plot. So I need to see the full breadth of your emotional range. You've just received the will of inheritance, and Count Bassett has arrived to lay his rival claim on it. You're outraged, offended, and ready to kill. Action! With this inheritance, I will finally be able to restore the manor to its former splendour, and give the family heirlooms the pride of place that they deserve. Stop! You villain! You knave! You illegitimate son! I am the true inheritor of the estate, and of the fortune. You are nothing but an imposter, and I have the papers to prove it. Poppycock! What utter drivel! Never have I been so offended to hear such pathetic nonsense, and from such a poor imitation of my likeness. Imitation! What an utter lie! You do nothing but dishonor to my great great grand uncle's legacy. Your Uncle's legacy. Why, I never. Preposterous! I maintain, sir, that you are nothing but a second rate imitator of the very man you see before you. Second rate imitator? Why, I'll show you second rate. Oh, yes? And I shall show you what a true duelist can do. You're nothing but a filthy thief. You'll never be anything more than a pretender. <laughs> Your emotions get the best All of you. All you do is use people. What? No. This is going to be ruined because of you. Hey! What's going on here? Just show a bit of respect for the stage. All of this didn't just fall out of the sky. I have everything under control. You just don't understand my directing style. Yes, well, I very much believe in the method. There's just no other way to get that intensity, you know. Now, egos can run high, and it is important to pay attention to the needs of the talent. That's what we in the industry call our actors. It isn't all sunshine and rainbows, though. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break for tea, everybody. So I'll see you back in a bit. Don't use that in the documentary. I often feel... 
<laughs> Misunderstood. Some people just don't get it. They don't understand the depth of my interpretation of a role. They're looking for something predictable, safe, something that won't challenge them. I could name names, of course, but I am a professional. This is the Leinster Shakespeare Award. Winning this was a special moment. Of course, there's a lot of jealousy, but I can handle it. I, I know how you feel. Really I think it's the difference. I'm on out. Okay, everybody. We all know the tensions have been running high lately. So I've called this meeting to clear the air. Well, I'm not happy about you landing this whole Hollywood circus on top of us. It's just extra work. We're run off our feet already, and we've only got two weeks until curtains up. This documentary will showcase the agonies and ecstasies that go into the making of great art. I am making a piece of great art, and you are merely building the showcase in which to exhibit it. Showcase? For a work of art? Look it, you are staging amateur dramatics at the Parish Hall. It's not the West End. There wouldn't be a show without Joan on. Speaking for myself, I am only too familiar with others taking the credit when they don't deserve it. Oh, really? And what's that supposed to mean? I, 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 I know I'm only new here and all, but shouldn't we maybe try some team building exercises? Well, Maggie, that is an excellent idea. In fact, I was just about to suggest it myself. I don't know how you know. Since you are my personal assistant, I will allow you to implement my idea. Well, chop chop, we don't have all day. Yeah, well, I'm new here. Mr. White, I mean, Mr. LeBlanc, he's made me his personal assistant. I have to follow him around and fetch things for him. I'm in the play too, of course. I'm the butler. It's my first acting job, actually. I mean, it's not paid or anything, but we'll get to see my scene later. They're caught up on some fight scene or something now, but you know. Excuse me, I believe I asked for the Earl Grey. Thank you. I'll be back in a sec. I have to fetch his tea. Here's a few ideas for the team building. We're going to do a quick breathing exercise. So breathe in and breathe out. Good. Now everyone has to say something positive to the person on your left. I'll start, shall I? Um, well, you're the best director I know. Actually, you're the only director I know, but um, that's a really nice cravat you're wearing. Thank you. It's Louis Vuitton. Your turn. Oh, yes, of course. Well, you're... You're a practical man. And you know that is important in its own way. Practical? At least we agree on something. Practical. Someone has to be practical around here. Well, I guess I can't be surprised at this show. Me? Well, Joe, you're a, you're a good lad. At least you don't think everything just falls out of the sky. Thanks, boss. When you think about it, quite a lot of stuff does fall out of the sky. Rain, rain falls out of the sky, and snow. And once I was walking along, and a covered box fell out of the sky and hit me in the head. And a burst landed on my face, it fell out of the sky. It was actually good luck. But anyway, stuff does fall out of the sky. I think it's really cool that you're making a documentary about all of us. <laughs> Why, thank you, humble stitch head. You, you have the presence. You are going to be in my biggest movie. It's going to be an amazing climax, sunset, life, death, beauty. And you will be in the center of all of it. Thank you, Mr. Lomax. I'm so relieved that someone finally sees my true potential. Lavinia. I just think you're so brave to take the lead role when your acting is so... Well, you have a lot of good connections, don't you? What are you saying? <laughs> well, I mean, it's true. Julian is your cousin. You think you would have gotten the lead role without him? I mean, I... You, you, that's nonsense. Julian is far above that sort of thing. The nice thing I wanted to say to you 
is thank you for upholding our family name and awarding me the leading role. And one day, I will return the favour. There you go, one big happy family. What you little gifts. Always so high and mighty. Well, I don't just keep these nails for looking pretty. Oh, guys, we're all friends here. Come on. Please, please. Being the stage manager is like being in charge of a zoo. Or, or a circus, maybe. I really wanted to join the circus, you know, to be an acrobat, but I ended up here instead. This lot thinks everything just falls out of the sky, ready-made. But like, I'm in charge of everything. Health and safety, the whole lot. Stage manager says it's like a circus, and I think he's right. Now the butler enters with the second wheel on the tray. An action! Excuse me, gentlemen, but this has just arrived. Ah, uh, at last. The proof I have been awaiting. What is this I see before me? Another cruel hoax! I, your beloved great-great-uncle, hereby dismiss all pretenders to my lands and my fortune, and hereby declare that there is only one true heir, and that heir is, look, it's my name, Lord Birkinshaw, and that is not all. It says here, the foul pretender Lord Bassett, that's you, shall be banished forever from darkening the hallowed entrances of my mansions. Give me that will. Look, it is clearly a forgery. Why, I would recognize your spidery scrawl anywhere. Even the spelling is wrong. How dare you, foul imposter. We shall settle this like men with swords at this very spot in this very moment in time. Oh, we shall settle things, Lord Birkinshaw. But times have changed. With these silver-plated antique pistols, I shall dispatch your miserable existence to linger as a mere shade in the depths of Hades for all eternity. Ha! Ha ha! I knew you wouldn't fight fair. That's why I replaced the bullets with blanks. Now prepare to die, scarless knave. Uh, see. Excellent energy, ladies. Bravo. Well, tonight's the night. I'm here at the Kilbreck Community Hall and we are about to... It's actually the Halls Artist Theatre. My apologies. We are at the Halls Artist Theatre's backstage with the cast and crew as they make their final preparations. So, anything you want to say before the world premiere begins? Excuse me, go away. I need to do my warm-ups, I need to get into character, and I need to get my makeup done. Could you please move along? Well, I am ready to tread the boards tonight. Carpe diem, as they say. Oh, you know, seeing a little bit of makeup for the actors. You. You missed the spot. There. You're a stagehand and a makeup artist? That's impressive. You know, Julian didn't hire anyone else, so. So, how are you feeling on opening night? Well, I suppose there's always a mix of emotions when you open a play, but I hope the audience can understand what we're trying to achieve with this piece. Of course, I hope to work with Lavinia again, and most of all, I just take pride in my production. For sure, for sure, my man. Maggie dear, could you lend me your eyes for a second? Yes, Mr. Levan. Which cravat do you think would be better for my opening speech? I think definitely the blue and the red one. Is that all, Mr. Levan? Yes, you may go. 20 minutes till curtains, everyone. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And now, it is my great pleasure to announce the world premiere of The Bassett Inheritance. Good luck, lads. Break some legs. Directed by my good friend and colleague, Julian LeBlanc, and starring Lavinia LeBlanc, Tabitha Wilkins, and Maggie Carmody. You did all right, John. Thanks, boss.